What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is Web Dev Journey and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the uh, topic exchange, right? Which is almost exactly the same thing as the direct exchange, only that we could use special characters to fine grain or make our filtering a little bit more complicated. Sorry, that was my phone. Anyways, so what do I mean about filtering, making filtering a little bit more complicated? Well, let's take this for example, right? We're, we're only going to do two services, but let's say that you have, you know, tons and tons of services that do different things, right? In this case, we're only going to focus on two. We only have a billing service, right? That handles all the billing stuff. And we have a, a feedback service, right? We have a feedback service, correct? Now, let's say, let's say that these billings or these services, or let's just focus on, on the billing for now. This billing service there is located in different regions, right? It's located, let's say in the U S East, right? And this one's it's also located in the, let's say AP, right? Let's get, let's go to Asia Pacific AP East. I think it's Hong Kong. I'm not too sure. And then let's, let's do one from Europe, right? We got, we got, um, let's do London EU West. And these are all, uh, West. AWS regions. Um, but anyways, so we got these regions right here and this billing service is in all three regions, right? Well, yeah, one in each region. <clears throat> so, uh, sorry guys, my throat, my throat. And again, again, guys, this, this, uh, application is still the logging system. So we're going to be logging out error logs, you know, warning logs, or even info logs if we really want to, but let, let's get back to the, uh, like how this is going to be uh fine green find a uh, grain detail or where is topic going to come in handy right or one case right so let's say that we only wanted uh we wanted us east billing errors so you we, we want errors coming from the billing service that's in the us east region right so in a direct exchange obviously you would only you you would write us dash east uh, dot billing billing dot error right because you only want the errors coming from the billing service in the u.s east uh region but what if you wanted all three of the uh regions right you wanted all the errors coming from the billing service from all the regions that the billing is in right well in direct you will literally have to type every single little thing out so in direct it would be what was the other one ap that east dot whatever you know you already know and then also right here eu dot west and then the exact same thing right this how this is how you would do it in a direct and you, you already know this is how you would do it but for topic we could we sh <laughs> there's there's a simpler way with topic you could write a special character that says that we want to replace this first word right here with an asterisk right so we're going to do asterisk dot billing dot error and this is going to re this asterisk is literally going to replace this with exactly exactly one word so this this asterisk could re could, re could be replaced by one word and exactly one word so in in this case this asterisk could mean us east it could also mean ap east or U eu west and this right here literally means all of this at the same time, right? Which is much, much more simpler than writing all these or binding all these by ourselves. Now that's an asterisk, right? Asterisk. Let's go over here. Asterisk literally means we're going to replace, we're going to re be replacing. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. We're going to be replacing exactly, exactly one word. Okay. But let's, let's say, let's say for an example, Hey, we wanted all the regions from every service and we only want the error logs from every service in every region how would you do that right how would you do that and this is where the second special character comes in right this special character is called the hash right and this is going to replace zero or more words now what does this mean right so Let's say that I wanted literally every error coming from every service in every region, right? How would you do that? Well, since this replaces 
more zero or more words, what I could do is like, I want to replace everything or from here or not dot error, right? So this is going to replace ES US or US East, AP East, and also EU West, and also going to replace the billing dot feedback dot image service, whatever, whatever other service, but it has to have or end with dot error. It has to end in dot error. This is the only way it's going to work. Okay. So some of the examples of this would literally be, you know, these right here, right here as well. But another example would be, this would work as well. Us dot East, whatever dot feedback dot error. Right. As long as it ends with error, we're okay. You could literally put in cat dot dog dot error and this is still okay. Okay. That made no sense, but I'm hoping you're, you're kind of getting what I'm talking about. Right? So these two special characters right here is what makes up the difference of topics, like the difference between topic and, and direct topic could use these, uh, special characters to, uh, make your filtering more complex or more, you know, fine grained if you really wanted to, but it, the code guys, literally the code is exactly the same as, as in the routing. Uh, the only difference is that I only changed this to topic, right? I made it into a topic exchange. That is it. And the same thing over here. The only difference is that I named this into a topic exchange and I renamed some variables, but that doesn't really matter. The only difference is the topic. The major difference is the topic, right? Making sure you create a topic exchange. So let's try to get into like, uh, examples, right? So let's some, let's do some examples. I got my four, four terminals right here. Let me get rid of this. All right. So over here, let's do node receive logs. And then over here, we only want to receive, um, hold on. Sorry. That was my phone. Anyways, uh, what was the thing? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's say that in this, in this, uh, PowerShell, we only want to receive, you know, logs that are coming from let me say us dot east or slash east. We want to, we only want to receive logs coming from the ES or us east region. And that's also from the billing department, right? And we don't really care what kind of log is it, right? An error warning or info. So I'm gonna put an asterisk right there. I do not care where, what, what kind of is all I care about. Is like I want to receive all the logs coming from the billing service and that's in the us east version. Okay. Hit enter right there. All right, let's say on this PowerShell, let's say that we all, we want to receive, oh, let me do node first, node, uh, receive. All right, let's say that we want to receive, we don't really care what region it is, so I'm gonna put an asterisk right there. Matter of fact, we don't care what region it is, nor do we care about uh, what service is coming from. So, so for that, that's two words, right? That's two words, the region and the service, that, that's two words. So what I need to do is put a hash right there, but we do care that it's coming. The, we only want error messages coming in here. I'm hoping I'm making sense, man, because honestly, it's, it's very, very simple. It's just hard to explain for me in a ways. So in this one, node, no receive. I'm trying to come up with good examples, man. I'm trying to, let's say in this one, let's say in this one, we don't care what region it's coming. Oops. What region it's coming in from, but we do care that if it is the feedback service, feedback service, and let's say that it's an error for right now. We'll probably do multiple examples of this. I'm um, just trying to come up with examples on top of my head. So let's do enter on this one and let's start emitting some logs, right? So we're going to do node emit. And in this case, I'm only going to specify, I don't really care about the message. I'm only going to specify where it's coming from. So in this case, this message is coming from, let's say the, um, EU Europe, EU, uh, West dot. Oh, and by the way, guys, I don't think I mentioned this, but Every other word has to be separated by a dot. It cannot be a space or a dash or anything. It has to be a dot. Okay. So this is from the ENUS. I mean the EU West region. This is going to be from the billing uh, service. And this is going to be a error uh, message, right? And then the message is literally the con the uh, subscribe, like, and comment if you have not already. And if you're liking the video so far or the series so far, please hit that like button, please. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. 
All right, so as you saw, we were this this message message came in from the uh, e, EU West region dot billing dot error, and the only one that grabbed it was this one. All right, so it didn't care where it was coming from, what service or region. It only cared that it's an error message, and well, it got it right because we're only looking for dot error messages, which this is an error message. But this one didn't grab it because this is coming from the US dash East region and this is the eu west okay also this is the feedback service over here and this is the billing right now let's let's do the exact same thing but let's say the e us uh now it's going to be east and both of these grabbed it because this is literally care this is, cares about the us us east region billing service but it doesn't care about what kind of log is it all right so US East billing doesn't care about the log, which is error since you get it right. This one doesn't care about anything except for that that it's a dot error log. Now let's try to do um a feedback, right? So let's do warning right here, warning, and it's feedback right here. Feed back. As you saw, none of them grabbed it because this is a warning, right? And basically none of them is filtering for just slash or dot warning. That's a feedback. All right. But let's do instead of warning, let's do error. And you're going to see two of them got it. All right. You want to be like, what? Like, remember, this one doesn't care about anything except for that, that it's a dot error uh, message log. I mean. And this one cares about, it doesn't care what region it came from, as long as it's from the feedback service and it's an error message, okay? But let's say that, hey, you wanted every type of log coming in from the feedback service, right? But you don't care what kind of log is it, nor do you care about the region. You just know that is I want everything that's in the feedback coming in as a feedback. So how would he do that right here? How would he do that, right? Everything coming, every log coming in from the feedback service, I don't care about the region, nor what kind of log is it. How would he do that? Well, it's very, very simple. All you will have to do is replace this error with an asterisk. So that way you can say that this is going to be one word, dot feedback, dot one word. If I hit enter right here, and then if I go right here, let's do a warning again. You can see that this one grabbed it because it's the feedback service, but it doesn't care about the region, nor does it care about the, the type of log it is, right? And they're both exactly one word. But if I did warning.dog, do you think this is going to work? Absolutely not. The reason why is because this could only replace exactly one word, which warning.dog is not one word. It's two words. So if you want to do this right here, what you would have to do right here is add a hash. So this is going to replace one or, or zero or more words. And in this case, if I do again that, this is going to grab it. If I do uh, US East dot feedback, this is going to grab it as well. And this is another way that we could have done it as well. We wanted to grab everything from the feedback. Don't, doesn't matter about the region, but everything after the feedback, I don't really care about as long as it's from the feedback service. This is another way we could have just added the hash right there instead of doing this. But if you really wanted to make sure that it's coming, it's coming dot error and then nothing else, then you would have to do this, right? You really want to get fine and green, fine grained detailed about the, uh, what's it called? Filtering mechanism. You would add an asterisk. Honestly, guys, it just depends how fine grained you want it, man. You could do hashes all the way around. It does not matter. You could do hashes, but if you know there's an actual pattern that needs to be followed, say, say like for this reason right here, you have the region service. So the pattern right here that what I'm talking about is, um, Ooh, let me re erase all that. So the pattern that we have right here is literally, where is it at? Oh God, where's my pen? So the pattern we have right here is region dot service dot uh, log type, right? Log type. That's the pattern that we have. If you, if you know exactly what pattern you have, which would be a really good thing, then you might want to be using asterisks instead of hashes, right? Unless that you want to replace these two with, an, with the hash, that would be great. That's awesome. But you know, understanding where the asterisks come in and also where hashes would be used is a big deal on this. So if you do have a pattern, 
Asterix would probably be your best bet. If you don't have a pattern and you just want to be like, hey, I only want feedback services or the feedback service logs, then, you know, hashes would be great because you don't know if there's anything between or behind it or in front of it. So let's say that I did not know that this is the pattern, right? But I all I know is that I want everything coming in from a feedback service. How would he do that, right? In this case, I can't really use asterisks because I'm not too sure about the pattern. So what I would do in my mind, I would literally just make uh, everything hashes. So I'm gonna say that there might be words behind feedback and there also might be words in front of feedback. So I'm not too sure, but all I know is that I want the feedback service. So I press enter right here. And then if I do, um, hell, if I even do just feedback, it'll work, right? If I put in feedback right here, you see that I grab it right there. If I do US East feedback, I grab it. If I do US East feedback that warning the dog, I grab that as well. But check this out. If I didn't have that asterisk in the very beginning, what do you think would happen if I did this one? US East feedback warning dot dog. What happens? I'm not gonna grab it. The reason why is because I'm not looking for anything after the feedback, which is dot warning dot dog. It's not gonna spit it here, right? So that's what I'm talking about patterns and all that stuff. Anyways, guys, I don't want to take up too much time about like examples. I'm pretty sure you grabbed it from the top of your head. It's very, very simple to follow. I'm just trying to come up with examples on top of my head, but that's not going very well. Anyways, that was a topic service or topic exchange. Um, the, kit, the code is exactly the same thing as the routing exchange or the routing uh, folder. The only difference is that instead of a direct exchange, we're creating a topic exchange, which has two special characters that you could use to make your filtering more complex and more fine, fine grained, right? So thank you guys for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed something and I really hope that I explained myself well enough for you to understand how a topic exchange works. It's very simple. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about headers, the header exchange, right? So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.